Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. I'm John Coleman with my co-founder, Art Kirsch, and our special guest, our man of the hour, our Embrace the Boom founder, Bill Jordan. Bill, you old boomer, you, you baby huh. boomer, you guys, you, you're good to see you again. So good uh, to be seen, and always a, a pleasure to have uh, to be back on with you guys. And again, I appreciate your inviting me to be on and and taking part in our conversation. Always love talking with you guys. No, Harold, no, it? Art appreciates it. <laughs> <laughs> and John, John is just coming along for the ride. So <laughs> forgetting about John for a moment, okay? Who wants to be? Uh, uh, I want to use the word obstreperous, but it absolutely doesn't fit here. But I use that word because I, I, I remembered it okay. from something. Good. However, I don't know what it means, but it's a good word. However, I'll, I'll own it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so uh, Bill. Yeah. Um, uh, we know that you embrace the boom. I do. Uh, uh, and now that you are a boomer, have you learned how to change or how do you embrace a vacation? Now that you are a boomer, has it changed for you at all? Um, well, we've got we've got one daughter, and she's now like thirty seven years old. I shouldn't say like thirty seven. She's thirty seven, so she's been on her own for a while. So we've been empty empty nesters for a good while. Um, so going on vacation for us has changed. Um, mainly, I guess, because I don't have the income that I once had. So maybe they're not as fancy as they used to be. Maybe they used to be fancy, but I mean, we still put aside the money to go to the beach uh, once a year. Uh, and in that regard, and we're typically empty nesters, we still may invite somebody down to stay with us a night or two. Um, but for me, vacation has been, and not to sound all, you know, uh, vacation is one of those times also for if I'm sitting on the beach or sitting, uh, you know, on a in, a in a chair in the mountains, looking at the mountains, it's really time for self reflection and introspection. And I always just kind of try to reset myself or reboot in vacation time. You know, mm. yeah. um, I, 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 I do know I, I'm I, I'm kind of the same way. Um, my attitude for toward vacation is that it's time to do nothing and think about nothing. And and renew myself. Yeah, and not feel guilty about doing nothing. Well, and I never feel other, guilty about doing here, nothing. Here's the biggest the biggest change uh, for me for a vacation wherever it is. Now that I'm no longer fully like full time employed working for a radio station or a company or something like that, mm -hmm. the biggest change for me is I don't have to take all the way until Tuesday to wind down. And I'm no longer starting on Thursday, starting to wind up again, dreading going back to work. Wow. That yeah. is that is the biggest change. I can, my blood pressure and heart rate and breathing are pretty slow anyway these days because I really kind of work at it. But it used to be we'd get in the car and my wife would say, well, how's your blood pressure? I'm going, I don't know yet. <laughs> you know, by about... By about Tuesday, I'd forgotten about work and stuff that was on my mind about work. And I would be relaxed, honestly, for maybe two days. And then starting Thursday, I'm thinking, OK, we got to drive back. This is what's coming up next week. And it was a stress. And now I don't have that. And it's just, I don't know, man. It's just the whole relaxation thing. And for me, you know, I've got this 15 point, 15 practices thing for my Embrace the Boom uh, practices that I do. And one of the practices is keep it simple. And if there is ever a time to try to keep things simple, it is on vacation to me. Yeah. Well, Just very true. Keep yeah, it simple. To me, a vacation, the first thing a vacation is, is it does not include getting on an airplane. Uh, <laughs> and I've loved to fly the first time, actually, I was on an airplane. And I have to tell you, it was a twin engine. Uh, air, aircraft when I was on my way to Paris Island uh, down in your neck of the woods uh, yep. for a uh, uh, boot camp. And I've loved flying ever since, but I've done a couple of million miles in uh, 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 for business. And so, so to me, 
uh, there was uh, one period of two years where I got on a plane either Sunday night or Monday morning and didn't get back to Friday night or Saturday morning, and I was in a different city every day. So that means on and off a plane with oftentimes uh, equipment that I was demonstrating and things like that. So not big, but I do remember the best vacations ever with my entire family before cell phones, you know, where we had a cabana, uh, uh, which was a little house in a row of how little 10-foot uh, uh, houses, uh, sheds, on the ocean. And we'd get there at 7 in the morning, and there'd be a hot plate. We'd make breakfast, bacon and eggs, and then we'd have the whole day at the beach, and the kids could run wild. And the nice thing about it is that nobody could reach you. You were absolutely devoid of anything other than, hey, you want to play backgammon? You want to play yeah. uh, a paddle ball? You want to play this or that? And we all had activities at the beach, and there was absolutely no way the outside world yeah. could reach you. So yeah. that's sort of pretty much in, in, in your vein of, uh, uh, Bill, of time for reflection of just locking away everything yeah, else. I, I, truly, I try, to, I try to slow time down. I don't mind getting up early. I can't stay up too late, and I'm fine with that. I'd rather get up early, and if a nap happens, hey, it happens. That's a good thing. I did do, I, I think it was kind of funny. I got. I get a blast out of a difference between, you know, when we're raising our daughter and taking our, our little girl on vacation. I saw my opportunity a couple of years ago. She's in the lounge chair. She came down to join us, and the fa her family came down to join us, and she's in the lounge chair, and she's just trying to, you know, just chill. I'm in the pool. And it clicks. Payback time. So I was like, Jessica, Jess, look, look. And she'd look at me and I'd just splice the water. And she'd close her eyes again. Jess, look, look, look at me. Splash. Just something silly. Because I remember. And she knew exactly. She knew exactly what I was doing. From when she was a little girl, just you had to watch everything they did. And I just kept after I'd splash or I'd dunk my head in and come up and like it was the biggest thing. And she's like, okay, okay, dad, I get it. I get it. I love that, man. I just I just love that. That's great. <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> oh. Just the and best. She deserved, she deserved that kind of happiness. Watching well, her. you know what? And, she, and, and she's got a daughter and a son, and yeah. they get, she does that stuff to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we, grow know, up, for, we grow up like our, well, we turn into our parents in a, lot yeah. of, in a lot of ways, which is great. Yeah. It can be. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, we turn into the good parts of our parents because yeah. nobody's perfect. Yeah. You know, for me, vacations, um, it's not a vacation if I'm in the same place. So I live in what I think is a pretty idyllic spot. We're on a, a farm, a ranch, if you want to call it that. Um, we've got every, I'm a pretty happy camper, uh, 52 weeks a year. But you need to get away. Yeah. It, not because there's anything wrong here. Not because I, I need to go to Hawaii for anything. You do need a change of scenery, and sometimes just a day is enough. You know, take a day trip somewhere. Yeah. Um, but even and it's and it's true. I I was su surprised to learn this about myself a few years ago. Even though we're semi-retired, you know, we're working, trying to earn some money, but we're we're not doing the nine to five thing anymore. Um, you still need to get away. You still need a change of scenery. You still need a break. From yeah, the recharge routine. the batteries. Yeah, mm. yeah, I, which I found odd, um, unexpected maybe, because hey, I'm I'm on a permanent vacation in in a sense, but no, nope, you need to get away. Uh, you're yeah. talking about getting away beyond just going and spending maybe three hours at the hardware store. Uh, you <laughs> yeah. can get new fasteners uh, and things like something that. Else. Which I could do that. Not that that's a change of pace. May I may I share with you guys a pearl of wisdom from my dearly departed father? Please. He advised me years ago. Now keep in mind, you know, in his generation, the greatest generation, they were not credit card people, they were cash people. Yep. So his advice to me, and I I have taken this to heart. He said, before you go on vacation, you get cash. You make a pile of cash, 
and a pile of the clothes you want to take, double the cash, and take away half the clothes, and you'll be just about right. <laughs> and he was correct. Now that is true wisdom. That's and, true wisdom. And, and, Plan on and, and, what you're going to spend, you're going to double it. Plan on what you're going to wear, and you're going to wear almost just about half of what you packed. Yeah. And one of the real lovable things about you, Bill, is that not only have you had the amount of clothing, but you haven't changed that clothing. You still have, <laughs> from your first vacation, a pair of cargo shorts. Which I... <laughs> Is that not amazing? I yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah. And you yeah, know Art posted, I posted a, uh, the other day just a few feet away from me. I'm treating my dogs at three in the afternoon and I'm wearing these shredded shorts I've talked yeah. to you guys about before. Right. And people are like, it's, you need to change them. I'm going, what, why do you why? can't, I'm, I'm out here doing yard work. What do I yeah. need a pair of new Ralph Polo, you know, Ralph Lauren Polo shorts to do yard work? Yeah. In? Yeah. Although there is something Bill, to be said I, about a uh, uh, brand new uh, fancy designer shorts to do gardening work. I mean, really. Yeah. No. Yeah. And that's another thing. You know, you can take a vacation from worrying about other people's opinion. Ah. We could do that every day. Well, that's a, that's, exactly. that should be number what, 16. You have to yeah. make a thing about that. Yeah. We go. I, but I, I really like your father's wisdom. Uh, it's, it's, it's almost a di perfect definition of a vacation is spend more money than you expected and wear half the clothes you planned on. Every time I pare it down, I think, okay, I'm going to wear take two pairs of swim trunks. I'm going to take three T-shirts. I'm going to, and I, all I needed was a pair of swim trunks, two pairs of underwear, a couple of T-shirts, and I'm and a, and a shaving kit, if that, for a toothbrush and deodorant, and and I'm set. Right, whereas, well, I... whereas women, now this is going to get people angry, but whereas women, they're packing, you know, I only need four outfits, but I'm packing 35 just in case. Yes. <laughs> I think, I think, I think you said, you said this is going to make people mad. I think it's going to make women mad. Okay. Well, it's, it is a stereotypical <laughs> thing, but I'm just telling you slices of my life, not my wife so much, but women I know, and they're proud of it. I mean, there's a suitcase with just shoes. There are people like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I think I think before Bill totally digs <laughs> a it's six grave. foot trench, his grave with all the female yeah. population. Right. You're, yeah, you're digging a hole. Stop digging. <laughs> right. So with that, we're going to help you stop digging. Put down your shovels. Right. And yeah, Bill, uh, go on vacation, will you? Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? So go collect some money, and throw away half your clothing. Yeah, but and, keep, keep the shorts with the holes in them. That's the other clothes can go. Ventilation. Yeah, I call and, it ventilation. And when you go on vacation, be sure you bring your boomer cup. Yes. Your abrasive sure. cup. Yeah. Again, yeah, again, it's Bill Jordan, embracetheboom.com, and you can get, you know, link direct free shipping on all domestic orders. This is a 15 ounce sturdy mug. It's printed on both sides. So you can. See it yourself to be reminded to live the best life, to embrace the boom of where you are in life. And it might start a conversation with somebody across the table from you and live your life, forget your age, and hey, embrace the boom. Embrace the boom. Amen, brother. Embrace Simple. The boom. See you next time. Thank you. All. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.